Hello viewers, welcome once again to Elimu TV, which is your station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mangi Francis, and today I'm taking you through chemistry form 3, organic chemistry. This is lesson 2. Previously, we have introduced ourselves to what is organic chemistry. So stay tuned and pay attention. So what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to do what? State the first 10 members of alkanes. You'll also be able to write their open structure formula, condensed uh, formula, and skeletal formula. Explain what is a homologous series, and those three are the objectives. So, what are alkanes? Previously, we have defined them. Hydrocarbons containing a uh, single bond between carbon atoms. So alkanes are named with reference with the number of carbon atoms in a chain. So the Greek prefix is used and the suffix A and E added to come up with the name of the alkane. So the first 10 members therefore has the following or have the following uh, prefixes. Meth standing for one, eth two, uh, Prop three built four pent five hex six hept seven oct eight non nine and deck ten. Thus when we add the prefix to the suffix that gives us the name methane, ethane, propane, butane, hexane, and henceforth. That's how we get to name them. Alkanes are saturated. These are hydrocarbons which are have a single bond, hence saturated. So what is the meaning of the term saturation in hydrocarbons? This means they have the maximum number of hydrogen atoms possibly bonded to the carbon atoms. Maximum number of hydrogen atoms. So Members of alkane, previously we have mentioned them, methane, ethane, uh, henceforth, but we need to understand how we get to know their formulas and structure. So we have uh, the first member having one carbon atom, and since carbon has got four open bonds, the four open bonds are bonded to hydrogen, which each of the hydrogen is bonded covariantly to carbon forming a single bond, hence the name methane. What about the second member? Have got two carbon atoms. The carbon atoms are bonded to hydrogen atoms to attain uh, stability. And we have the single bond between the carbon-carbon atom. Then carbon-hydrogen are bonded covariantly, giving us six covariant bonds to hydrogen atom. Therefore, the name uh, and then we also have the third member, three carbon atoms. Each of these carbon atoms is bonded covariantly to the other, and they are bonded to hydrogen atoms covariantly, uh, therefore becoming stable. Since we have three carbon atoms, the name therefore becomes propane. So you can use the same same concept to name uh, the member number four, five, six, seven, etc., and you can give their formulas. How many formulas do we have? So we have three main types of formulas that we use or refer to organic compounds. Number one, we have uh, open structural formula. Using an example with butane, which we have four carbon atoms. The four carbon atoms are bonded to hydrogen atoms covariantly, and that structure gives us an open structural formula. We also have condensed structural formula. Considering the first member in this example, we have first carbon here that has got three hydrogen uh, atoms bonded covariantly, hence CH3. The second carbon has got two hydrogen and as well as the third carbon. So we have CH2 and CH2 for the second and third carbon atoms. What about the last carbon in butane has got 
three hydrogen therefore ch3 uh, that gives us the condensed structural formula we also have skeletal formula which is illustrated in a zigzag manner specifically uh, skeletal formula focuses on the bond between carbon and carbon atom within the chain so the first carbon to carbon atom we have the first bond there what about the second carbon to the third carbon bond we have the, 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 the we have a covariant bond there so we write it downwards what about carbon number three bonded to carbon number four in that chain we have another uh, bond there so that's how we illustrate a skeletal formula there is something important for us to understand here which we refer to as a homologous series what is a homologous series basically these are compounds with similar chemical properties and chemical formula but exhibit a gradual change in their physical properties a example we have the carbon carbon chains along uh, alkanes the number of carbon atoms increases therefore this will change their physical behavior it increases with a ch2 unit so the preceding member increases the number of carbon so the physical appearance uh, viscosity of a member along that chain will not be the same due to the increase in the number did we get to understand or get the prob uh, the concept of this lesson one we can answer the following question we can list the first 10 members of alkane in that homologous series uh, we can as well as write the formula of the 10th member of alkenes and we can as well as draw the structure of the 12th member of alkenes and this will help us to build an understanding of this concept for more of this information concerning organic chemistry you can refer to the book that we have on your screen but for the reason that follows reason number three four and other reasons which are more educative you can send an sms through the number on your screen and you can as well as visit us on our facebook and uh, page or you can view us through youtube at elimu tv and you can as well as send us a tweet at elimu tv underscore ke thank you for watching and please stay tuned to Elimu TV as we go to uh, Reson 4 and God bless you.